finally, finally managed to break out of St. Martin. You guys have no idea, I can't believe it's been six months I've been in one island. I've never been in one island so long since I've started sailing almost 20 years ago. And in the Caribbean, 10 years now. It's like, wow. It was getting unreal, it was great. You know, it was really good. We developed a great audience, put together lots of videos, but that last while there, it was... <laughs> I know you guys always think it's like another day in paradise, but man, it was like being stuck in Hotel California. Remember that song? You can check in, you can never check out. Well, it was funny because we just would not let go, no matter what I did. We just had uh, one issue after another come up, had to deal with all kinds of things with the boat, just as we'd spent too much time just sitting, basically. So the boat was sitting at the dock for quite a few months as we were working on some good videos with some of our new sponsors. But then we had developed a transmission problem, and that locked us in good because we couldn't get parts for the old transmission. Finally found a new one and had to order that in from the States and got that shipped in and then it took a couple of weeks before we got that all sorted out and fit in. And Alright, all right, that's got it. Oh, just another day in paradise. Mirrors on the ceiling, they pink champagne on ice and she said... And wouldn't you know it at the same time the dinghy gave out. Same thing, transmission, gearbox, boom. We just blew the pinion gear in it, just sheared right off one day on the way back from uh, from Phillipsburg. Had a nice dinghy ride out for the afternoon and had to get towed in off the ocean in like an emergency rescue at dusk. So that was a lot of fun. So the last night before we're ready to leave out, I'm sitting at my buddy Jimbo's bar and we were just sitting there and laughing. He comes up to me and says, this next song is for you. I'm like, okay, cool, what's that about? Anyway, we're sitting there and on comes this song, The Eagles, and I'm like, oh, cool, The Eagles. And then I realized, oh, wait a minute, no, it's Hotel California. I'm like, you bastard. <laughs> Everybody was having fun at my expense. They knew how long I'd been just trying to get out of there because I was late to get to the BVI's. And well, here we are, just sailing into the BVI's now. Just made it. Had a great crossing across the ocean. I saw one of the biggest pods of dolphins I'd seen in a long, long time. It was great, it was about 30 miles out, the sun had just come up recently, and we had about 30 to 40 dolphins just all playing and dancing off the bow of the boat. They just played on the bow for a good 10, 12 minutes, and I just kept recording. They were just there having fun, it was awesome. So it was great to see so many dolphins come out and, and visit us at sea. It was like them welcoming us back to the ocean, like, welcome back, you've been away far too long. The dolphins played for a little while and then took off on their own track and we continued on to the BVI's. First stop was at Leverick Bay. And we just arrived, it just got off the boat on the dock at the fuel dock. We're gonna get some fuel for the boat and there's this guy standing on the dock with like an inflatable dolphin or whale or something. I'm looking at him going, what's that about? He's standing there and he's looking like he's ready to jump in the water. I'm like, is this a swim toy? He's, what the heck is he doing? I asked the dock guy and he's like, don't you know who that is? I'm like, no, it's Richard Branson, Sir Richard Branson. He's there, he's got a, a race going on with some of his guests from the island. And I guess he was trying to find his way out to one of the catamarans that wasn't doing so well, wanted to get out there and help so they could win the race. So he looks over at us, walks down the dock, and says, hey, can I get a ride out there in your dinghy, please? I need to get out to that catamaran right away, as soon as possible. I'm like, uh, okay, we just came in off the ocean. I had it tarnished in, like it was tied in, like rock solid. I'm like, <laughs> I can get you out there, but if you're looking for a hurry, you gotta give me a couple of minutes to get this mess untied. So anyway, we got that untied and he clambered aboard and uh, took him out. This little catamaran, right? How was your ride to the Martin Rob? It was good, yeah, we had a nice downwind run. Yeah. Going to the Martin would be quite unpleasant. Yeah, exactly. But we raced out into where the catamaran was, offloaded him, he got on, inflatable dolphin and all, and off they went. He took off like a shot. He really knows how to sail. He got in the boat because I guess the other guys weren't doing so good, but once he got on board, they just took off.
I followed him around with the camera for a little while, and yeah, he beat them all to shore. There was two other ones coming in close behind, but nothing, nobody could keep up with them. So it looked like they were having a fun day, and that was our introduction to the British Virgin Islands. You just never know what to expect when you arrive here. Anything can happen. So then it was time to move on to one of my favorite hangouts, Trellis Bay. This is the bay where I call home when I've not been working down here, whenever I'm uh, in between charters or anything, when I was running my charter business for years in the Caribbean. So going there to hang out for the night, and my spectacular lady from Switzerland is arriving. She's been away for four or five weeks visiting friends and family back in Switzerland, and just coming back in tonight. So we're going to get together and hang out in the British Virgin Islands for a while and finish up some of these jobs and then we'll be starting our trip south and I'm sure you'll be seeing some video from that trip as well. Okay, well glad to share this part of the trip with you. Hope you enjoyed and we look forward to sharing some more with you in the very near future. So be sure and stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll be posting lots of new videos coming up from the Down Island Adventure starting about a month or so from now. So stay tuned, take care and we'll see you soon.